This box is the answer for all you people with Skywatcher tripods that would like to upgrade your mount to the ZWO AM3 or AM5. This will be a short video on how to install this pier, which is the ZWO P200 or Pier 200. It's uh, almost eight inches tall. 200 millimeters and um, get by some hurdles that uh, existed up until recently in being able to utilize the AM series mounts on Skywatcher or Ioptron tripods. This is JR10 Desert Gold and I'm going to take you through a quick journey on how to assemble this as far as getting it ready for the tripod tripod and then we will um, mount the AM3 which is the one I'm going to use on that so in the box you will receive the pier itself and on the bottom of the pier is actually going to be the top of the pier or actually the mount for the uh, the mounting plate for your AM3 or 5 which will go in here and lock downs on three opposite points to keep it in place so what we have to do is get a way to mount this to the tripod that I showed you earlier and get around that central post that would be an obstacle for a, a level fitting of the mounting plate. In the box you will also get the adapter plate which will replace this plate in its place it will be this Skywatcher slash Ioptron slash Celestron um, adapter plate. So all you do is remove the three M16 by 15 socket screws holding on this plate and replace the this plate with the adapter plate that I showed you and use these three same screws to tie uh, lock down the plate and then we'll go from there. So we're going to take the pier and line up the azimuth post so that it goes in that notch out that I mentioned earlier. And this goes right in there like that. Perfectly. Everything's sitting perfectly. Then all that's left to do is to take your center post and Tighten it up, screws in perfectly, and it will tighten down super snug. That thing is stout. I really like it. I mean, like I said, it's a quality machined aluminum anodized black in a matte finish. Everything is machined perfectly. Um, the ability of the uh, strain wave mounts to handle larger telescopes up here isn't such a bad idea because even with some of the scopes I have now on the stock mount, 
I had a number of uh, tripod strikes where the camera would hit the one of the legs on it on the uh, tripod and unless you're watching it at the time it happens it could be sitting there not moving for a long period of time and it's just not good on the clutch in the, in the mount anyway so I think a pier is a great idea for something um, like the string wave mounts and it's a perfect solution for saving $300 on one of the ZWO tripods if you've already got a 1.75 inch Skywatcher like this or a 2 inch Celestron AVX tripod um, you're in like Flint our next step will be mounting the AM3. Get this thing buttoned up. All right, it's time for the main event. Uh, this is the AM3 strain wave mount that we've been uh, working towards on mounting on the uh, Skywatcher EQ 35 Pro tripod. The last thing that we have to do right now is um, mount the plate, the mounting plate, which we took off earlier and switched it for the adapter plate. We will now adapt, adapt or <coughs> excuse me, use these socket screws, they're M16 by, I think these are 15, they look like M16 by 15 socket screws, and there's three holes in the bottom of this mount. Let's see if I can get this so it's, there's, well, there's three holes that this will mount to, and then we'll go from there. And there you have it. Now it's time to put it on the tripod. So we've got the mounting plate secured to the mount, which is the AM3. And we've already got the pier mounted. So all we have to do now is just drop this in place. And tighten these three Lock, locking screws that I showed you earlier. And she's done. I already mounted the uh, accessory tray, which I already had from the original tripod. It's secured in place also by the same center post. We have the pier, and now we have the strain wave mount. And this is quite a setup. The machining is just remarkable on this. Like I said, this uh, pier is capable of holding up to 50 pounds by itself. The AM3 mount itself although it only weighs eight and a half pounds, it's capable of holding up to 17 and a half pounds without a counterweight balance, balancing bar or counterweight system. And if you want to even go up to 28 pounds of 
payload. Then you just unscrew this knob here and put in a counterweight bar in your counterweight and you're all set. And that is how simple it is to transform your EQM35 tripod into a AM3 mount. Pretty cool. All right, so I couldn't put this all together and not give it a try out. So I decided to uh, roughly mock up the setup for testing purposes. Um, I've got the ASI Air Mini up here. This is basically the brains of the outfit. Fortunately, because I lack that capacity. <laughs> um, this is another new addition to the inventory This I just got today. And it is the ASI Air 2600MC Pro camera. It is an APS-C sensor. And the Zenith Star Z73 with a 430 millimeter focal length. Uh, with the new camera, this uh, entire rig mounted is probably just a little over 10 pounds. So I've got it all, like I said, roughly wired up. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this stuff on the camera, but. I've got it uh, powered up. I've got the um, all the I've got the camera, the guide scope, the um, mount was automatically detected by the ASI Air, so I mean you're all good to go here. And right now, since it's daylight, I really can't do any tracking, but I can test the mount with the uh, azimuth and elevation buttons uh, on on the screen here and yes it is uh, wireless so the mount does come with a hand controller but I hate hand controllers it's just more wires hanging around so I hooked it up to the uh, through the ASI air to the mount and I'm running off the ASI air Wi-Fi the mount itself does have a Bluetooth capability, but I'm, I've been using this for a few years and I'm used to it, so I'm going with that. But as you can see, just by, oh, I can't believe how smooth this is. Unless you've had strain wave mounts before, you, you're not used to how quiet they are and how smooth they, they move. The mounts I've had uh, ever since I started this have been uh, gear mounts uh, like the uh, EQM35 Pro from Skywatcher, which weighs more than this and is more cumbersome and it also was prone to uh, wires getting caught up or fouled up in parts of the mount that were sticking out. And once I get all these wires managed and cleaned up, you'll see how, how easily it will avoid that. Even with it in this chaotic position, or set up with the pier it will not, it would be almost impossible I can't even see an area where it would catch a wire well I guess I could but
everything just moves so slow and so smoothly. Anyway, I'll probably do a follow-up video on on this and new power supply. Um, right now I'm using an old Jackery 300 Explorer to power everything right now and it's doing okay. But I got a new uh, power supply coming in and it's uh, got the newer um, lithium lipo battery pack. So it's going to be good for about 10 years without any problems. Anyway, I thought I'd just post this and for you guys that were thinking about uh, getting a strain wave for uh, your Skywatcher tripods, you can do it. It can be done. You save yourself $300 on the uh, on the carbon fiber one that they put out. Anyway, that'll be it for now. I hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving. Have fun. Be safe.